Hey, Steve Ritter here. So today we're gonna cook for you a Ritter house uh, special treat that we have every now and then, uh, calzone. And we're making this tonight because of my guest cook who is here with us tonight. Uh, Benjamin, why don't you come on here? This is my son, Benjamin. You probably Hello. remember the, the Meet the Grandkids video. <laughs> It was a while ago. It was a while ago. That was, what, 2012? It was like eight years ago. Yeah, because it was, was it then? It was a while ago. No, it was 13. 13. 13. So, yeah, so you were like in the eighth grade or something crazy yeah. like that, weren't you? I was in middle school, yeah. Where, what are you doing now? So now I'm at college. I'll go to the Coast Guard Academy up in Connecticut. I'm a cyber system major. I'm a sophomore there right now, so. Right. And you're going to help me cook. So why are we eating calzones tonight? Because... I don't like eating mystery meat pasta up at the academy. I like good food, so. <laughs> we're nice we're rest sure we're not gonna make mystery meat pasta anytime <laughs> soon. Ever. Uh, Hope, thank you. So calzones, do you, uh, what, what is the calzone basically? Uh, you take a pizza and you fold it. Yeah, so it's like a pizza burrito, isn't yeah. it? Yep. Really? It's like, it's like an omelet, but pizza. Yeah, it is. It is. It's like, what's what's that you say about lasagna? What is lasagna? Oh, lasagna is a uh, spaghetti flavored cake. That's yeah, that's right. Lasagna. So it's kind of like that, except different, yeah. right? Yeah. No. So <laughs> we're going to make calzones tonight. And we're doing this on the, um, you can go back and mom had a recipe for pizza dough. And that and that's if you want to do that. We ran out of time here. So again, if, if you're like me and you wait till the last minute to decide what you want to make, what you end up doing is going to Walmart and getting some uh, pizza crust mix. This works just fine, um, and basically it's it's one per person. So um, that's uh, it's going to be a lot of it because you're going to be folding it over a lot, but it, it works out okay. And actually, the calzone's big enough. Well, you'll you'll eat one. I'll yeah. eat one. But the ladies and most normal people uh, yeah. will probably be able to eat a half. That's about the serving size. So. Mm -hmm. This this right here is probably perfect for two uh, for a meal for two people or one person if you if you really like calzones which we do don't we? Oh, we love calzones, yes. All right, so pizza crust mix. Uh, we'll go ahead and mix up. I've got a couple going already, um, but what I'm going to show Benjamin is is mixing this. I've uh, and then it's just like pizza. It's whatever you want to put on. It. So um, I like. What do you like on your? Like sausage, pepperoni, onions, uh, mushrooms sometimes if I'm feeling it. Olives definitely. Just which generally meat. We have a lot now. We talk sausage. You talking like Italian sausage or Jimmy talking? Jimmy Dean's yeah. hot sausage? So we, are, yeah. we are from the south, so Jimmy Dean hot sausage. Those of you from New Jersey probably would want uh, like Italian sausage or something. That's probably. You know, or some if or if you're Italian, yeah, I guess we're not so. Italian. Are we? we're, we're not. What are we? What are we? I don't know. I don't know what you are. I know what I am. <laughs> so we're just dumping this in here in the in the directions. It's it's a half a cup of hot water, and you mix it up. And if it's a little sticky, then you're gonna use a little bit more flour. Okay. So I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna let you make your own. Okay. Because I'm I'm not sure I'm ready to eat something. That you make on your own. That's fair. That's fair. Is that fair? That's fair. Yeah. So you make your own bed, you line it, right? Yeah. So we're waiting for that to heat up. Or I'll these, just make eat it. So you you went out into the forest and picked these yourself, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I did. No, you did. So this is <laughs> this is this is actually uh, Bella gave me this for a Christmas. Bella, you what? Is that too loud? I'm waiting for it to heat up. Bella, you got this for for Christmas, didn't you? Yep. So you're gonna get to taste this now. So this is um. Uh, this, these are, this was a little mushroom kit. So you kind of open it up and you water it and you put it in a cold or in a, uh, a, uh, cool dark place. And, uh, and then a week later, here's mushrooms. So we're going to try and fry these up and we got onion. We get, we talked about our Jimmy Dean sausage. We got some pepperoni, mozzarella cheese for it. Um, we got some, just a, a can of ragu, uh, pizza sauce. And we'll talk about that later. And then butter and some garlic powder. And that's yep. basically it. That's right? it. Yeah. So. Is that hot yet? No. Okay. So, while we're waiting for that to heat up, um, I'm going to go ahead and chop these. You keep feeling for that. See if that's going to be warm, right? That's yeah, colder. Colder? Yeah. What do you do? Well, I don't know. What's that? Pressure goes up, temperature goes down. 
Aren't you a pilot? Let me borrow some. <laughs> is that what it is? Aren't you a pilot? Yeah. yeah. You're getting a little science and technology on me now. College boy. Haven't you ever heard of carburetor icing? I have, yes, I have. That's why that works. <laughs> you gonna you gonna school me now, college boy? I just make sure you're keeping up with your learning. <laughs> Sharp mind. Sharp mind. That's right, because when you quit learning, start dying, start don't down. you? Yep. Yeah. Pretty well now. Okay. So take this right here, that's a half cup. Let's get that when it's uh, hot. Yeah. Okay, turn that water off. And just dump it, uh, dump it into that bowl there. Okay, so Bella, you can get on in here and you can see. So I got Bella on camera again today. She's back uh, doing a little freelance work for us. How you doing? Doing all right tonight, Bella? Doing good. Yeah? So it says on the packet to stir it about 30 times. So all I'm looking to do is basically get all the dry flour up here and I just keep moving it around and stirring it around. Okay, so just keep scraping it, the dry part off the, the bottom of the pan. See how, I'm, see how I'm doing there? Keep working it in. Pretty basic. You think you can handle this? I don't know. Better. The next one's yours. Nervous? You're pretty nervous. That should be. It's critical. So, where is Coast Guard Academy? It's up in uh, New London, Connecticut. Very, uh, not much to do around there. It's, no? Uh, it's not, it's not, no Annapolis. Kind Study? Of yeah, uh, I don't like doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> who likes to study? Oh, who does indeed, Man. you know? Who does indeed? So, pretty much got this up here. My hands are clean. And just kind of, you can use this dough to kind of sop up the flour to pick it up, okay? Okay, now, kind of get it into a ball like this. Okay, your hands are clean, right? Yeah, I just washed them. Yeah. Yeah, okay, clean. awesome. Now, take a little bit of vegetable oil or olive oil and put a little bit in the bowl here. And you, because we got to let this sit for five minutes to rise. So just kind of twirl it around and kind of coat it. Is it vegetable oil or olive oil? That's, this is vegetable oil, but you can use olive oil. That's it. And we'll roll this out later. We're going to set this off to the side and let it rise a little bit. Now we'll make this last one in this bowl, so then we'll leave it in there. So go ahead and... Okay. Get your water together for you. Maybe black shirt wasn't the best north in the flower. Now it's going to show all your half cup of water in there. Okay, I'm gonna grab a spatula, go to town. While you're doing that, I'm going to chop these up, all right? Again, you could put anything you want in there. I like, I like mushrooms, and we'll saute these up a little bit. See how these turn out. I think they're oyster mushrooms. Is that what they are, Bella? Yeah. You like mushrooms, don't you? Yep. Is that what they are? I don't know. You don't know. You want to be surprised? Mushrooms are probably one thing you don't want to be surprised about. I did try one of these the other day just to make sure, Yeah. you know, I didn't have any like, how's it going? Is it a little pretty sticky? Yeah, it's good. Keep working it out. Now, if you if if you, if it, if it's too sticky, if it sticks a lot, you can just put a little bit of put just a little bit of right, teaspoon of flour over it to kind of help coat it. You kind of pick it up now. And scrape all that off. No use wasting it, right? No, that can go in your belly. Got it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kind of pick that up, working into a ball. sauteing in some uh, olive oil. I'm going to leave the uh, fan off so that we can get all the good smells. 
kind of saute them over low heat. Okay. So we've got an onion. We all like onions on ours. And, and you can saute them, but we, we just put them in cut up raw, Straight, right? Because yep. they're going to cook a little bit inside the, uh, the pizza burrito, won't they? Uh -huh. So I got a, a, this is a pretty big white onion. So Benjamin, uh, you picked this up, didn't you? Uh, yes. This is about as fine a white onion as I think I've ever seen. You're welcome. Magnificent job. So we'll probably take about half this onion, okay? And we'll take the big side. So we'll, uh, I always cut the cut the ends off here. You don't need that anymore if you want to put that over. Right. And then we take the outside off. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can cut it up manually, or you can use a chopper. Now, I, I, I think we like our pieces a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. so we'll just we'll cut it up manually, okay? Because mostly I want to show you. Okay, so I've got to cut it in a, in a manageable size. Now, whenever I cut, all right, if you're if you're cutting like this with your fingers wide wide out like that, you just ask him to get your fingers whacked, all right? All right. So if you think about using like the wushu death punch grip, you know, mm -hmm. keep your hands your fingers back like that, yeah. so that the only thing that's going to get cut is maybe maybe a little bit on your knuckle there, right? Mm -hmm. And you just kind of cut cut down. Let the knife do the work. See, I'm kind of keeping my fingers back, you see? Yep. That's my technique. And I get down about this level. Sharper the knife, the better, a little easier. And then just kind of, and now I, I, I picked this up when, you know, working in a restaurant before, but just kind of rock it back and forth. So you put your hand down, put a little pressure to keep the point down, and then bring the one end up and just kind of come down and chop. That's how I chop with the, with the knife. You kind of go back and forth. Kind of bigger chunks, all right? Or you can dice them up as fine as you like, but I kind of like to bite into a, some onion. If you don't like onion, don't put onion in it. That's the beauty of calzones, right? So we've got a little bowl. You kind of do all these ahead of time, kind of mix them up ahead of time, get them all ready, because it'll be like a buffet we build it, right? Yep. So why don't you cut that one up for us? Let me check on these mushrooms. Bill, make sure that cut his fingers off. My knife skills are incredible. So you like a kitchen samurai? Yes. Are onions vegetables? I'm a vegetable ninja. That's pretty good. You know the uh it's mm. close enough. Where we where's the first time you had calzone? Oh, uh, uh, probably Ramstein. Last place was the first place Germany? I remember it. Yeah, Germany. Yeah. First time I ever had it was in Oklahoma, of all places. There was a little uh, place called Luigi's. Italian guy and his wife moved there. They uh, cooked them. Um, That's the first time I ever had calzone. I'm like, what in the world's a calzone? And uh, I kind of know it's a it's a pizza, pizza burrito. Pizza burrito. Yeah. Right? So. Again, pizza, a little pizza sauce uh, for dipping, and uh, and uh, like, oh, let's make, let's cut them a little smaller than that. So, kind of go over it one more time with it. So some of these longer pieces. Good. That good? Yeah. All right. I guess it'll look like Is that. Is it allowable? I don't know. I mangled that thing. Mm -hmm. Show you the sauce. All right. So we got the onions cut up. Let's see. Mushrooms smell pretty good. Bella, you smell those? No. I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil on these things. Okay. Um. Yeah, so just rinse your hands off. Yep. Keep your things clean. That was one thing my mom, uh, I always remember and always carried with that is anytime she was always very careful cutting up onions because she said all you all you need is for one 
get one little jailbreak, one little piece of onion, get up underneath the counter or something like that. Very stinky. How would it get under the counter? Well, if it like fell down and then you oh, under the counter, counter, yeah, yeah. Well, there's no telling, you know. To get get to cutting. Um, okay, so we got four of those going. Um, what we want to do is go ahead and preheat our oven. So I'm going to use a lower one so we can bake. Uh, 450. Actually, I'm going to think, so, well, well, we'll go 450. 450. Sorry. So 450. All right. Uh, so what else we got? What are the fixings we got? We got uh, cheese. Cheese. You need cheese. Check. Mm, we'll come back with that. One. Yep. Uh, what else we got? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Check. Olives. Olives. So yeah, we do have olives. Like olives in here. Yes. So let's, we'll fish some of those out. Get a get a spoon. Oh, use that spoon right there. And we'll. Uh, I need a bowl. Uh, well, you know where the bowls are. Where are the bowls? All right. So we got get our all kind of all our fixings together. So what I'm going to do is put put these on there and kind of cut them up. So these are, yeah, they're seedless. So I'm going to cut, start dicing those up a little bit with the skills that I just showed you. Do you want you want any of these? Yeah, I love all those. Okay. How about you, Bill? Indeed. I know your mom doesn't want them. Do you you want some, Bill? Mm -hmm, probably not. No. That's probably not for us too. Okay. All right. So dice those up. You want me to dice them? Really? Just a little circles. Well, I, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, gonna be there all day. Yeah. <clears throat> so the oven's warming up, prepping all our stuff. Get this all ready to go, and then we'll uh, we'll start making our rolling out our, uh, our calzone. Mm -hmm. How's it going, man? So that's one little trick that your grandma just told me was uh, using the wax paper. Wax paper? Yeah, so that the dough doesn't stick to the counter. And then, like the last time we we did with the with the flan cooking, cooking, um, you remember we had quite the time trying to get that thing up. Now we don't really have that kind of a problem with the calzone because it's 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 uh. It's gonna be about yay big. How big is that? Yay big. But yay big. That's about uh, about probably four inches across by six inches long, something like that. That's what it'll kind of end up being. Foot, yeah. So it'd be pretty easy to just kind of pick up and use some spatula, get it to pick it up and put it on the pan. So I'm I'll make it on the counter here and then we'll transfer it over to the pans when we're ready to go. What's probably the most important thing? Remember? About. Um, once you make the calzone, what's probably the most important thing? Put holes in it. Put holes in it and marking it for who's who's. For who's is who's, right? So, yeah, that's that was always the problem. Is is do we put is it B for Benjamin or B for Bell? B for I came first. Yeah, it's so B for Benjamin. B for Benjamin, and then we'll go I for Isabella, and M for Mommy, and D for Daddy. All right. paper down and we'll start our first one. Is it ready? Yeah, it's been five minutes five since minutes. I did the first first couple. Okay. Got this. So alright, so we've got everything cut up. Got all our fixings together, right? Yep. So we'll put a little wax paper down. And make the calzone on top of that so that'll kind of help keep the counter clean hopefully. Got our little uh Quasi roller here. And 
Was that the first one? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna let. I, I guess I need to let you assist, don't I? Mm -hmm. All right. So put a little bit of flour. Put a little flour down on here, just to help it. It's got the oil on it. All right. So we'll just kind of mash it out. Okay. This is the rolly side. This one, for whatever reason, uh, you broke it. <laughs> Why do you assume that I did it? Was it you? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> I was furiously, furiously rolling, rolling something out. You're angry at something. Angry. So we'll roll this out fairly thin, not too thin, because we got to fold it over on itself. And, and one thing you, you you know, so roll it out kind of about as flat as you would for for pizza. What is that? Probably a eighth of an inch, maybe. Yeah. Now, we'll, what we'll do, don't put any uh, pizza sauce on it now. I'll turn this. Um, we got some oregano. So really, you can put anything in there, right? It's Italian seasoning. It's a pizza. I'll put anything in there. You can put about anything in there. We'll, we'll dust it with some oregano. Um, and then, uh, so we got the, the dough rolled out here, Bella. You see this? And then we'll just kind of put a little bit of a little bit of olive oil and kind of spread it around. This dough's doing right, right? Nice job kind of staying out there. Sometimes the dough will like contract in, right? And the oil kind of helps hold it out too. Keep it out, right? So, who, whose is this first? Let's go Bella's. Bella, is it? Bella, are you eating our truck stuff? No. I, I am too. <laughs> That's probably the toughest part. Is not eating. Okay, yeah. so we'll so Bella will we'll, we'll spend extra love on this one since this one's for you. Oregano. No, put that on top. Hmm. What? The oregano. On top of what? On top of the toppings. You know, so one one theory I have is is using the bowl to mix our things together. You know, and to get it more evenly and spread. get it more evenly spread, and then dumping it out on it. What do you think? You want to try that? Let's with, try that with Bella's. Um, no, Bella it's going to be pig. someone else's if that we're going to try something now. <laughs> You're the guinea pig, Bill. You're the youngest. I'm sorry. That's how uh, things roll. Okay, so make sure. So what do we got here? We got your sausage. Sausage. So Jimmy sausage. Dean's sausage or Italian sausage if you're sausage. from New Jersey. Sausage. Try out your theory. This is you, yours. This is yours. <laughs> you no, no, do someone else's. <laughs> this is We already started. No, we already started. This is yours. Can't really dump it out. Uh, let's see. You want uh, onions? Onions? Yes. You want a uh, onion? You want a uh, onion? Lots of onions. Cheese here. How about pepperoni? Yep. This is uh, original pepperoni. See that? It's none of that uh, turkey pepperoni. It has none of that. There'll be none of that in this house. Real, real only. You gotta put some cheese on there. Now you gotta put the cheese on top, so it like melts over all of it. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. That's good thinking. Yeah, it's pretty big brain. That's why I get to have a smart daddy. That's right. True. All right, so that's why I get to wear the pepperoni. Kind of spread it on here, because you you're, they're gonna be wrapping the ends up, so don't don't spread it out too far. You kind of put keep it close to the middle here. Okay, lots of pepperoni. Is that enough sausage? Well, we can always add a little more. You want more sausage? You can just ask for more sausage. I would like some more sausage. Okay. You gonna put some cheese on there? I need to put everything on there first. <clears throat> How about uh, mushrooms? Mm, I gotta try those. Come on, we'll try. Come on. How much this cheese? Uh, taste, taste of vision. People are actually gonna see and experience you tasting something. How much cheese hmm. does Bella want? Let her, let her try that real quick. Yeah. What you think? Tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. Kind of a nutty flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Because right. I was going to say we got sliced mushrooms in the uh, can. No, no can. No can? Is there enough cheese right. for you, Bill? Um, Maybe a little more. Too. 
just a little bit. You want all of it, right? Yeah, put that right. over there. Anything else on there you see? Precisely my thoughts. Um, I think that's so. Because the worst thing <laughs> that we've done before is uh, what are you showing right now? Are you showing the pizza? You forgot the pizza sauce. No, we're not putting pizza you sauce. You don't put on the there. pizza sauce. On. I just no. don't do that. Um, is is forgetting like the cheese or or something like that? I've done that before. So, yeah. uh, what about red, did we want red peppers or anything like that? I didn't want any. Mom well, we said we got a red pepper in here. Do you want a red pepper? No, uh, I don't know. Okay. You want it? All right. I think we got everything in there. No mango or anything. No, that's terrible. All right. Now it's just a simple matter of just folding it over. So I just kind of come over. Grab an end, kind of roll it over. Almost like a burrito. Yeah, exactly. Well, this thing, uh, this wax paper didn't do its job, did it? No, it did not. Fold it over. And oil. I have to dust that a little, a little better. And just kind of seal it up, okay? And then where's that? Where's that pan? Um, no, it's not. Fun. It's over there. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, see, so can pick it right up. Uh, let's flip it over like that so it looks nice. Okay. Now we're gonna you have a fork. Air it out. Let's just use a knife here. So we're gonna put a little eye in here for Be uh, Isabella. go. Hi. Number one's done. All right, so set that to the side. We'll get the other one going here. Who is this for? Is this one for mom? This will be mine. We can do our experiment. Yeah, you know what? And I'm going to experiment too is just go right on the counter. So let's uh, right. let's forego the wax paper. Hey, don't eat my let's dough. Go. Don't eat my dough. Don't eat my dough. Hey, hey. Sorry about I'm that. I'm taking some years now. <laughs> is that mom's? Mine's already made. I am. Okay, go ahead. Turn it out. Just catch it with your hand, kind of peel it out of the bowl. See, the bottom of it's going to have some oil on it, so we'll kind of dust this some more. Kind of roll it over a little bit. Kind of get it started, mashing it out. Stop taking my dough. <laughs> that was a thief. She's a dough thief. Roll it out for us. Yeah. And like I said, sometimes you forget to put stuff in. You forgot to dust yours with oregano because you insisted on having it on top of the fixings. Well, if I was making it, I wouldn't have forgotten. So well, you are kind of assisting us, so you don't don't let us miss anything. And I should yeah. have been making it. There we go. Well, you you got a cam do camera work there. There you go. How's that? Who's this? Who's this? Is this mom? Mama's. Okay, I know she she don't want any uh, olive oil. oil. Now let's, before we forget, let's kind of dust it with oregano. Oregano. Okay. What else are we doing now? Sausage. Sausage. Onions. Definitely pepperoni. Whose is this? This is Mama's. Mama loves pepperoni. Oh, we were gonna, let's try, let's try the bowl method. Well, it was a little late now. No, it ain't. We'll just add a little bit there and we'll kind of, that's gonna be right. a lot of sausage. So that's a lot that of Jimmy Dean's is one tube, so it's a pound, a pound of sausage. Is what we used. Um, got the. It won't be in there all pretty, but. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're mixing it up. You got to yeah. it. What else we got? Cheese. Cheese. Mix cheese in there. More than that. Keep going. Cheese. I like lots of cheese in mine. And then you just kind of mix it all together to get it all even. Drop it in. There we go. See? Like just kind of get it all even in there. So it's all mixed together so you don't... That, so we'll try this one, see how this works. And then just lay it in the middle there. I don't think Mom's going to appreciate guinea pigging. Oh, she... That's the beauty of it. She won't know. She won't know. <laughs> exactly. Alright. So is that everything now? Uh, yeah. Are we forgetting onions, pepperoni, onions, pepperoni sausage. Pepperoni, sausage, cheese. She don't want any mushrooms. She don't want olives. We're good. I think we're good. Alright. So again, we just kind of grab the ends. Fold it over, fold it over, 
fold it over, and fold it over. Kind of mash it down a little bit so it, yeah, that one worked a little better. So we'll just go counter now. Yeah. I think we'll be able to fit them all on the, I think so. on the one there, right? So mark that with an M. Mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for, are you eating the dough again? Yes, yeah, she's eating all of our dough. <laughs> That's why she wanted to go first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dust the flour. This is yours. This, what? Oh, you're going to make your own? Yeah, because mine was the one that I made myself, remember? Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to roll this one out. So this one undoubtedly will be a work of art, right? Saying my calzone skills coming into question. Questioning them. Trust questioning your plating. <laughs> That's the thing you need to work on before Master Show. Uh, plating. Yeah, he's like he Suba. Like <laughs> <laughs> it, it may taste good, but. <laughs> oh man, come on. <laughs> it all up? Yeah, I'll go mix method. Yeah, mix method, mix method. Oregano. Well, now I wish I had done it. What, mix method? Yeah. Why didn't... So our oven's preheated now. That's what that sound was. I'm leaving you plenty of sausage there. All right. Like lots of onions. It makes your breath smell so good, right? Yes, just like garlic. Yeah. Corn nuts. All right. Uh, just put that whole bit in there. Yeah, so get that other pack out of, out of the Way ahead of you. Oh, there you go. Great minds think alike. Oh, yeah. Lots of pepperoni. What's that scene in Elf where he, he puts all the... Oh, where he's making he's his making breakfast, breakfast and he puts like Pop-Tarts and like candy in his spaghetti. And, like, and then he does what? He goes... <laughs> that's kind of what I'm doing here. So yeah. mixing it all together. <laughs> that's how you eat your leftovers. That's good, yeah. <laughs> put, mix it all together. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Very nice. Mixed together. Now I'm going to put, actually, you know what? Let me uh, wash my hands here. Because I'm going to put some mushrooms in now. You put mushrooms in here, right? Man? You eat, oh, you're not, no, you're not putting your hands eating cheese out of there, are you? You definitely going to put it in a bowl. <sighs> this, is, this is where... I guess you'd get that from me. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put some of these mushrooms in here. So the thing about these videos, it's kind of funny. Is, uh, if you're watching it right now, you know it turned out. Because if it doesn't work out, then we just not put it up. We're not gonna put it yeah, up, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. So. We'll assume, because we always think positive thoughts, that this well, is going to work. I'm here, so it's going to work. I work on it. Oh, so. yeah, okay. All right. So Everything I touched is just pretty, magic. Pretty proud of how humble you are. I'm probably the most humble person in the world. Right the, the most humble. The most humble, yes. All right. I don't think you're going <laughs> to fit that over there. Well, you seeing this? So this is a challenge. Sometimes you get like me, and you, oh, yeah, olives too, and you, uh, you get a little overly ambitious with your calzone uh, packing. So, uh, you know, the beauty of it is, is the dough will stretch. Now, you gotta be careful to not pull it too far so that it breaks. And uh, don't want that to happen. And you can kinda shape it and pack it. So again, it's probably Four by six, maybe a little bit bigger than that. I like kind of shaping it a little bit so it looks all pretty. See that? It's like a, and that one. I got it. You got it? All right. The yeah. Last one. You get mine, the true masterpiece ready. All right. I'll kind of roll it out for you. How about that? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> So we'll get this, we'll uh, get Benjamin's made, and then we'll chuck them in the oven for probably about 15 minutes. So 
we'll get to that point and we'll take a break and we'll come back. And see how it turned out. Yeah. Do you want to roll that? <coughs> Alright. Oh man. Oh no. So. Yeah, so so like you know, work from the middle out so that you're always pushing it out. And if it's if you find it sticking, put the put the roller on a little bit of flour and that'll help. Don't get it too thin. That's okay. Good. All right. All right. Have at it. Where's the bowl? Just We're use that one. Picked up everything else here. Here's the rest of the mushrooms. I'm not sure Benjamin wanted those mushrooms. I guess I did. I do now. <laughs> you never have enough cheese. I love cheese. Well, that's a lot of olives you left me. I'm gonna have them though. I'm just gonna take them all. I know. Yeah, you don't know, take all of them. Well, Ziploc bag those. Yeah. Just pepperoni, huh? Got everything? How about uh, some oregano? Oregano, if you want to spread some oregano on there for me. Hates when I cook and use anything with flour because you see flour all over everything. So I got to follow up, make sure I clean up everything. So don't let me forget, Bella. Use your hand, kind of scrape it out, control it. There you go. Get all that sausage. Hit it all. Miss yeah. some. Miss some. Thank you. All right. All right. Get it at the end of the middle. Give it a little shape, squeeze, flip. There you go. And it's onto the pan, like a little satchel. All right. Mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for. Now you are you actually poking through the dough? No. Yeah, you need to poke through the dough because it's got a vent. Is that mine up there? Yes. Give me a couple of little nice holes through it. So if you don't vent it, it you, you might have a explosion. Gas leak where open up that bottom uh, thing there. So we're gonna check it in the oven for about 15 minutes and then we'll check on it and see. So got a timer? What time is it? Timer in here. 720. Okay, so we'll be back in 15 minutes to check on it. Hey, welcome back. So it's been about 15 minutes, right, Ben? Yep, it's about 15. 15. So Benjamin was Johnny on the spot with the, the timer. Mm -hmm. He's our time control expert. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're ready to eat. So actually, but we're not quite ready nope. to eat, right? So there's one more thing, that we, or we want to do one more thing before. Uh, so it's been 15 minutes. We'll take these on out. Oh, they smell great. Ooh. That oregano really. I've gotten to be a big fan of that. So they're starting to brown up as you can see, but what we want to do is, I got about three tablespoons of butter. Um, everything tastes better with a little butter on it, right? Yep. And we're just gonna slather, is that the word you use? Slather. Slather, slather. But, butter on the top, right on the top of this. That'll get it to crisp up nice. 
What did we say we wanted to call this particular episode? Cooking with the Colonel. Cooking with the Colonel. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was, <laughs> you said that. For a I mean, I never even broached it's, my mind. You don't think it's catchy? Yeah. But you're cooking with me. <laughs> cooking with the knucklehead? Cook, Should we call it that? Cooking with the cadet. <laughs> cooking with the cadet. <laughs> Basically the same thing. <laughs> it's about <laughs> the, 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 the cadet and the colonel cooking. Yeah, cadet and colonel. The cadet colonel and colonel cooking show. Yeah. So, really, can you have enough butter? You never have enough butter. Never have never. enough, right. So it just, all the sides and the top, and we'll slather it all real good. It's okay if we have a little bit extra because we're actually going to use this as a butter as a dipping sauce too. So we're actually going to need more butter. Can you believe that? Can you open that for me? All right. So here they go. So they're all golden -y looking. So about another five minutes or so, we'll put them in, and uh, we should be ready then. Back in the go. All right. We'll be right back. All right, it's been about five minutes since we put the butter on the top, so would you like the honors? We'll take them out and just put them right there. All right. So in the meantime, when I was doing, well, he's working on that while he's bringing that out, I get the, our pizza, homemade uh, pizza sauce, and just heated it up in the microwave. I've got some butter going right now. So what we like, so notice, remember we didn't put pizza sauce uh, in the the uh, calzone. So what, what we like to do, and this is the way I, I, I've always seen it, um, that's the way when I first had it, is uh, we'll, we'll put a little bit of pizza sauce in these little cups. So everybody will get a cup and we'll get, uh, and then I've got some butter. I'll put about six tablespoons or so of butter and I'll put a little bit of garlic powder in the bottom, right? Yep. And I just, you just pour a little bit of butter in there and mix it in. Everybody gets a little bit and butter and uh, and uh, garlic and then pizza sauce and you cut the calzone and you take a bite and you eat and I know uh, which one's mine? Oh, yours. Okay so um, take a look here Bella so this is this is what it looks like we'll get it plated up nice and everything else but uh, uh, you know what we'll come back here in a second when uh, it cools down a little bit we'll try it and finish up and see and show you what it looks like. So we'll be right back. All right, so it's cooled down a little bit now to the touch. So I've got my pizza sauce in here. I've got my butter and my garlic right here. I'm going to cut into this. So here's the, the taste. So the top is the butter kind of sealed it in a little bit in a well as well. So it, it browned up real nice. I'm going to kind of cut right into the middle here. That's good. We got the cheese melted in there good and. That smells divine. Onions and everything. So, should I go butter or pizza? Pizza sauce. What do you think? Pizza. Oh, pizza sauce, okay. And I just kind of dip it in here a little bit. Mmm. That's good. And the crust, too. When you get to these end pieces, where you got a little extra dough where you folded it over, it makes a nice little dipper. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? That's good. Think That's they good. turned out all right? I think they turned out well. I think so too. So there you go. Calzones or as the, as, as well really nobody but us calls them uh, pizza, pizza burritos. burritos. Yeah. So, kind of nice all right, we'll see you next time. See y'all later. Thanks yeah. for uh, helping out there, uh, Benjamin. Of course. All right, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Bella.